Hey guys, and welcome back to Danganronpa! Trigger Happy Havoc. As always, I'm Demon Fire 93 and last time we went to the kitchen and, uh, you know, had our, uh, little first powwow, I guess. Uh, reconvene, or, yeah, talked about, uh, everything and found out we're gonna make this rule of don't go out at night. But now, uh, Makoto here wants to check out the bathroom. So, alright, let's open it up. It's no use, it really is locked. Oh boy. <clears throat> Wrong and not locked! Holy crap! Jeez! Talk about no reaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Well, what? Like some kind of robot bear ghost! W what are you doing here? What? Makoto Nayagi! This is super duper majorly bad! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! What, what the f fuck is going on? Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame! Wait, so the reason it won't open is, isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey! Didn't, um... you, didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks! Yeah! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? You just hit up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Got it? Good. So you're just gonna turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Or try the other thing I said. That worked too. Or alt F4. Turn the knob. Lift the door handle while I pull. Oh, I did that door open without a problem. <laughs> See, I it open right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. Ah! You're supposed to be the ultimate <laughs> lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Maybe you're the most un you're the ultimate unlucky student. Bye-bye! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait. Damn it. Ding dong, bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. All right. As such, it is officially nighttime. Which, as Celeste pointed out, means that we are now staying in. We're not going to be going out. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Interesting. Good to know. Okay, then. <clears throat> Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, Monokuma. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapse into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. <clears throat> Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. Oh boy! school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. All right. Thanks for that promise. Ding dong, bing bong. Ding dong, bing bong. It is now 7 a.m., which means the kitchen's now open. Good morning, everyone. 
It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. There has been a murder. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. No, no murder. Good. I'm glad nobody broke the rule. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka, and we can figure out where we go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Right, Sayaka. It's right next to Makoto. Sayaka Makoto, Sayaka Makoto, Sayaka Makoto. Hey, Taka. Why are you so tall? Hey. Good morning, Makoto. Good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the you day. Understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Exploration! Exploration! Map. Nope. Map. See? Told you. Tab key opens the map. So they don't show anybody on the map, anyways. And there's nobody else in the hall. Okay. Toko. Why is there such a big gap between Toko's... Okay, I guess like all the rooms go out and fill up that way. And then this one goes out and fills out this way. And then this one goes out and fills out that way. Okay, I gotcha. Structural integrity. There's a door next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, hi, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. Listen. I have a favor to ask. Favor! Oh. What just happened? Um, uh, hey, um, why are you trying to get into my room? I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, uh... Oh, hi! Um, listen. A favor? Um... I was just ready to head out if it's... I was just getting ready to head out if it's okay. Would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, um... Oh, um, I've been thinking about that, uh, thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here, who presented us with rules for murdering each other, who put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so I just... I want to be able to protect myself, no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself? Well, now that I think about it, I think I could use a weapon to protect myself. The display case in the gym entry had a bunch of stuff, maybe... <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go! Uh, again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening up the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and mark waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck, and have fun. Anything you gotta say now, Taka? Hey! Good morning, Makoto! Good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are indeed. Blah, you blah, understand? Blah. Yep, 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 okay. She didn't have anything to... Are you coming? Hey, um... We're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, <laughs> then let's start moving. Okay. I'm moving. Are you joining me? At the gym? Where the fuck is the gym? Um. Oh, hi, Celeste. I hope you are well. Well, hello. I hope the two of you are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging such common greetings is somehow strange. Is that okay? Given the circumstances and everything, 
You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> and then I'm off. Hey, um, should we get going? Yeah. Run far away. Oh, hey, who are we? Mm hmm. Hmm. Mr. Nayeki. Miss Maizano. Oh, where are you two off to? Or where are the two of you off to? A man and woman growing uh, closer? What are you trying to say? Hmm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation, and over the course of the story, they fall in love. There's really no other way to express it but to say... I feel as if... Oh, very poetic! Hey, um, Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Can I kick his ass? Nope, I don't have a clue. Dude, you're into too much hentai. Hey, hey! Hey, Sayaka, again. Nope, not Kyoko. Kyoko. Hey! She you doesn't understand? have anything to say with them. Okay, sure. How do I get the fuck out of here? It's this way, isn't it? Oh, I just thought that the door was closed. I couldn't go through there. Okay, I'm just an idiot. That's all. Okay. Gymnasium then. Whoa! What is that door going in? This is still locked. Okay. That's a way to the entrance. Okay. Hey, Toko. Why does everybody seem so tall? Toko, together with those other two, quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look, 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 like you have something to say. Oh no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. We're hanging out with me hanging out with two people who have muscles where the, the, the brain should be is not by choice. Where their brain should muscles where their brains should be. Muscles where their brains should be. They have I mean Sayaka anyways. Ha, not Sayaka. Um Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank on her name. Uh, ogre <laughs> is what her nickname is. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's got muscles on her arms. So why are you saying that her brain should be in her arms? What? I don't understand Just that. Just a second. Wow, that was super mean. Yeah, Hina. Mm -hmm. You you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Mm -hmm. I, I never asked you to do that. Stop trying to drag me further into your meatless mansion. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. Sakura, that's it. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well... Oh yeah, good point. They're like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Anyways, let's talk to Hina. Hey, Makoto. Well, look who it is. Up, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know it ASAP. And Sakura? Hmm. We have found, or we have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um, and that's why you went to, went with Hina and Togo? However, well, Hina's the one that involved Togo, invited Togo, sorry. I have trouble talking to people directly. That's why I'm not looking at you right now. I'm looking to the side. Side profile. I don't talk to people directly. Understandable. You have a menacing presence. To the entry hall! Just you two? Are you trying to bash the door down again? I mean, seriously? Man, what the hell is with the metal hatch thing? It's really on there. That's for damn sure. Anyway, there's nothing to do around here. Gonna friggin' die of boredom. Huh. Uh. And being stuck in here is keeping me from racing towards my dream, too. Hey, um, your dream? Yeah! Yeah! To become a musician! You can sense my aura, right? The strongest vocals of the century right here. How cool is that? God, I feel so cool getting to say that in front of a national celebrity. I'm a pop star. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Dreams. Did you say something? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Seriously, he's like trying to impede on her dreams a bit, or like she's the ultimate pop star. He's trying to be a singer. Don't step on her toes, she'll kill you, dude. Mondo, what are you doing? What? I'm trying to find a way out. I figured I'd give it another shot. Oh, this there's, gotta, sucks. there's gotta be a way to bust this thing open. Hell yeah. But I suck at thinking stuff up. So I guess I'll let you guys figure it out. Hey, damn it. Once it's time to act, though, you just let me know. I'll show you what a real man can do. Wow. Sounds like we can really count on you. How do I exit R? In the area? Yes. Okay. I'll go down to the gym now. Haven't found a hero yet. Can we go in there? Uh, is there something you need to do in the gym? Um, no, not really. I was just looking for the rest of the, the students. I mean, I guess they're probably all in their room, but I would like to know where they are. Tab! I see. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. Okay, the two, tro two statues, some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'd put in a high school st gym. Nice! Monocoin. It's a gold statue of Buddha, except it's not. Why something like that on display? Can I get more coins? Interesting. A plaque! I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. Samurai outfit. It's a helmet of some sort. Why is something like that on display? Nice! And a samurai sword. Is this a sword? Oh, I think this is a replica of a sword. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it. I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um, wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. You could be saying your gold finger. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it. You should... Uh, you should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in the newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Hmm. I don't see anything I could really use for some defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You? Protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I've got you on my side. I guess I don't need a weapon after all, because you're my weapon. Uh-huh. Saiga giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. Right. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Uh, hang out with Sayaka? Well, if you, if you insist, I'll totally uh, hang out with you. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I fucking hate you. After you said you'd protect me, I just, I just really think that you're like really overstepping your boundaries here, my boundaries that I'm setting here, and I just don't think you're respecting me at all. I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Or stare deeply into each other's eyes. Anyways. Mm. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that it's boring. It's just, I... I haven't really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just... stare... and do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, we're hey. hanging up. This is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have 
A dream. A dream. Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I, I, my dream is, I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. I was born from clay, unlike Diana. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know. So I was really lonely. But that all changed when I, when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that what I wanted to be, that's, but that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. That's a uh, stern expression I, there. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see, I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even talking, taking time to breathe. Maybe I should talk to Hina about that. She knows about swimming. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. A world of water. A water world, if you will. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't get that wrong. The wrong idea. It's super fun. But... But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um, I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I want I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all life like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Saiga, she's trembling. She must be terrified. I'm terrified for her. She worked so hard. Sacrifice got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Sacrifice so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um. Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically, basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Uh, uh, While well, I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Saiga. What? I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way. The dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I kind of killed the mood, didn't I? Next I'll kill you. Uh, no, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Hey, could you look behind you? I'm going to take your sword from you for a second. Uh, Sayaka, why do you want my sword? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go get to the dining hall and get some food? 
all that talk about like despair and everything and us being like the Lord forgetting about us made me really hungry. So Okay. You want me to make up something to eat? Make us something to eat. Yeah, make us something to eat? I might not like look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? Your special what's your specialty? Chili oil. What? You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding! She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how'd it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. And that, thus, that, the, this marked the day I sold my soul for some chili oil. Anyway, we headed back to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. But then I returned to my room and put the sword out. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold, a trash can, a toolkit, a bed, a table, a desk, a bathroom that has a bit jammed door. A camera, bolted down windows, another door. Am I forgetting anything? All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Oh, lint roller. Forgot about the lint roller. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free mode. Free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. As you live out your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono Machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will pro prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can before your friends die. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep and to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizano. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Free time! And I think that's yeah, also a good time for us to come to a close on this episode. So, see you guys next time. <laughs>